Prokaryotes Basic prokaryote characteristics Prokaryotes are small, 0 to 5 to 1.5 microns on average. Prokaryotes have no membrane-bound organelles such as mitochondria, nucleus, or Golgi body. All have a plasma membrane surrounding the cell. Bacteria are essential as environmental decomposers and so are important in the food chain and are prokaryotes. Prokaryotes versus eukaryotes are compared side by side in this slide. Prokaryotes no membrane bound nucleus, one continuous DNA strand, has a cell wall, ribosomes only organelle, no centrioles for mitosis, and if it has a flagella, it's a simple flagella. Eukaryotes have a membrane bound nucleus, multiple separate chromosomes, cell wall is in plant cells only. They have many organelles, extensive mitotic organization, and if it has a flagella, it's a complex flagella. Bacterial cell structure. These are some of the characteristic features of a bacteria cell. Plasma membrane, cell wall, capsule, cytoplasm, mesosome, DNA, and this is in a nucleoid region. That means it's a dense or darkish area, but it's not surrounded by a membrane. So the DNA is in the nucleoid area. Ribosomes. Flagellum. These are some of the characteristic cell structures of bacteria. Not all bacteria have these components. Pretty much though all bacteria will have the DNA, cytoplasm, and a cell membrane, a plasma membrane. They'll also have ribosomes. However, some of the other attributes will vary depending on what type of bacteria you're looking at. Bacterial cell envelope. The cell envelope is the cell membrane, the cell wall, plus an outer membrane if present. Bacterial cell envelopes are two, gram positive and gram negative. Cell capsules. Cell capsule is an organelle in some bacteria that is on the outside of the cell wall. The capsule is composed of polysaccharides and protect the bacteria against phagocytosis. Because of this, it is considered a virulence factor. The capsule also protects bacteria from desiccation, viruses, and detergents. It is most common in gram-negative bacteria like E. coli, but can be in gram-positive cells. It is sometimes called the outer membrane. Cell membrane up close. The cell membrane is a semi-permeable phospholipid bilayer. It has a variety of biological molecules like proteins and lipids. It also serves as the attachment for the intracellular cytoskeleton and, if present, the cell wall. This is a schematic of the cell membrane. Take a good look at it and become familiar with it. Gram-positive and negative bacteria cell walls. These are comparative schematics of gram-positive and gram-negative cell walls. The gram-positive cell consists of a plasma membrane and a peptidoglycan layer. While the gram-negative cell has the plasma membrane, it also has a paraplasmic space, the peptidoglycan layer, and an outer membrane. Gram-positive and gram-negative refers to its ability to take up a stain called a gram stain. So if it's gram-negative, it means that these cells do not stain with the gram stain. Cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. The lipid bilayer cell membrane of most of the gram-positive bacteria is covered by a porous peptidoglycan layer which does not exclude most antimicrobial agents. 
cell wall of gram-negative bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria are surrounded by two membranes. The outer membrane functions as an efficient permeability barrier because it contains lipopolysaccharide, LPS, and porins. Gram-negative bacteria cell wall. This is a schematic of gram-negative bacteria cell wall. Notice the major structures. Outer membrane having LPS, porins, and membrane proteins. Paraplasmic space between secondary cell membrane and outer membrane. Inner membrane having proteins and lipids. Notice, just to get yourself oriented on which side the cytoplasm is, the cytoplasm side is the inside. So the outer membrane is the outside and it faces the world, while the inner membrane is inside and faces the cytoplasm. Importance of cell wall. The cell wall is important because it prevents damage to the underlying protoplasm. The cell wall is a layered structure, not rigid, flexible and responsive to the internal and external environment. Cytoplasm of prokaryotes. The cytoplasm contains the chromosome, which is circular and sometimes plasmids. It also has ribosomes for protein synthesis. In this schematic, the ribosomes are shown as blue spheres. This is the chromosome. And it also contains granules of fat or lipids. Enzymes for cellular respiration are attached to the plasma membrane. Ribosomes are the only cytoplasmic organelles in prokaryotes. Flagella and pili. Flagella are rotating filaments with propeller-like movements, no microtubules, and it moves the bacteria for the purpose of chemotaxis. Pili. Short, hair-like structures. Helps the bacteria to adhere to each other and to surfaces. Special pili are involved in bacterial reproduction. These are known as sex pili. Bacterial growth phases. Lag phase, slow initial growth period. Exponential phase, population doubles until nutrients become restricted. Stationary phase, cell division stops due to lack of nutrients. Eventually, this will lead to death, and you can see now the numbers of bacteria in the death phase have decreased. Binary fission. Binary fission is asexual reproduction. One cell divides into two cells of the same size. The process results in the reproduction of a living cell by division into two equal or near equal parts. Conjugation. In conjugation, step one, pilus comes from donor cell. Pilus attaches to new cell. A linearized plasmid is transferred to the new recipient cell. In step four, both cells recircularize their plasmids and synthesize a second strand. In step five, both cells can now donate plasmids. Transformation. In transformation, cells pick up pieces of DNA released from other bacteria and use it to acquire new abilities. Endospores. An endospore is a thick-walled body formed inside the vegetative cells of certain bacteria. Endospores will enable the organism to survive conditions of high temperature, dryness, chemicals, and extreme cooling. Endospores can be killed using heated water, like in an autoclave. 
This is used to kill the botulinum toxin. This is a slide of Bacillus subtilis. The blue dots are endospores. 